What's up guys? I'm going to be doing a YouTube tutorial for Cubase 6. Pop that open. There it goes. Cubase 6. Uh, it does its little thing. I'm running everything out from my M Audio here. I guess it was like the most basic thing Guitar Center wanted to sell me that was cheap. And this a friend gave me, said it came with the original Cubase 5 package he got, Oxygen 8 version 2. It was pretty cool because I sync up loop mash to different patterns on these parts of the keyboard. Alright, let's get started here. This is basically a tutorial on how to record loop mash sound. Start empty project. I still haven't registered. I don't like to register, but I'm sure they'll make me soon. Sooner or later, have to. Alright, basically from scratch. You got you got your blank document. Hit F11. Always hit F11, no matter what you're trying to do. That's how I do it. Otherwise, you got no instruments. I'm going to hook up this to the synth. I guess if you didn't see how I did that. F11 again. Click on, and I'm going to be doing work on loop mash. Create the MIDI, and now you want to make sure it says all MIDI inputs so that it's detecting everything. Even though this isn't plugged into the M Audio, it's plugged into USB to my computer. Alright, basically, the main trick of this whole video is to right click here audio track doesn't matter what kind of audio track just hit add track now you're gonna look over here god damn camera no bus you want to change these two to no bus and then you want the first part of your audio track to be output stereo output and they'll just say stereo out there now you're gonna hit this so it records your keyboard notes then you're gonna hit this so it records and basically I'll just load up for quick purposes just load up this now before you try to attempt to record make sure that all these things are working to your keyboard you know you don't want to have to be messing around with your mouse really except for like added effects and I don't have a sound card so if this does freeze up sorry guys but should be alright do this all the time but I do have a lot of freezes here you go record I got my volume over here It's all very horrible, terribly sorry, but just an example, so, so I have some recorded here. Now listen to it, you want to hit this power up here so that it doesn't interfere with loop mash. You can close it out if you want. And what I'm going to do is turn this off and turn all of this off because it does interfere. And basically... Oh, forgot. You want to change this back to in and then out instead of out and nothing or whatever. Out, no, and bus. And you should begin sound. Hope you all enjoyed how this worked. I'll be showing some more tips for the MPC. Maybe some more synth nonsense. <laughs>